Sometimes I don't need a menu. I just go right up off the dome. I know what I get from McDonald's. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a DVD with no menu using PowerDirector 17. If you want to make a DVD without a menu, I want you to put hashtag we don't need no stinky menus in the comment section below. Here we are in PowerDirector 17. I want to remind you to subscribe to PowerDirector University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Sometimes you just want your DVD to start playing without having a menu up front mucking things up. But you still want that same functionality to skip between chapters and go back to previous chapters when needed. Well, I'm going to show you how to get it done. Let's create an antiquated and dare I say obsolete media format. As you can see, I have some clips in the media room or the media library. So I'm just going to select all by doing a right click and then selecting select all. And then I can drag them down to the timeline. And now I have all of the beautiful clips in the timeline that I want to use to create a DVD. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I can either press F11 on my keyboard or I could go up here to the chapter room. If I click on the chapter room, then it's going to give me the options for auto chapter settings first. So the first option that I get for auto chapter settings is to insert a chapter at the start of each clip. Then the next option that I get is to insert chapters at fixed intervals. I can change those intervals if I want to do so. And then the last option is to insert chapters evenly. And then I can tell it how many chapters I want to insert every new chapter. I'm just going to go ahead and select the first option, which is to insert chapters at the start of each clip. So I'm going to click on start and let it do its thing. So now you can see that I have chapters at the beginning of each clip that I have in my timeline. Now I also have the manual chapter setting so I can place a chapter at the current location of my playhead. So wherever I move my playhead, I can choose insert chapter and it'll do that. I can delete all of the chapters that I already set up in case I didn't like it, or I can change the thumbnail. So let's say that as you can see here, you have the thumbnail here, which is like them in the middle of the lake. So let me just move this to here at the end of the lake. So you can see they're at a different position than it shows in a thumbnail. And if I now click on this set current frame as the chapter thumbnail, you'll see that that chapter thumbnail is going to change. There you go. So got those options there. The reason why we have these chapters set up is that we have points within the DVD to jump forward or jump back to. Now, what we want to do next is create disc. So I'm going to click on that. And now we want to go to the menu preferences tab. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see here that I have the option called no menu. So I'm going to click on that. And then it wants to know if I want to apply that to all the pages. I do. So I'm going to click on apply to all pages. And now you can see that that menu is gone. And the only thing that's on here is the actual uh, thumbnail for the first chapter. Now, if I click on the preview button here, you'll see that it will start to play immediately. And you can see here that if I use the next chapter button, it'll skip to those little green flags that you see there. And these are all the different chapters for each one of the video clips that I chose before. So I'm going to close this out. So the next thing I want to do is go to the 2D disc tab. So I'm going to click on that. And I want to make sure that DVD is selected and 4.7 gigabyte is selected. And then under the video and audio settings, I'm going to come down here to where it says high quality. And I'm going to change this to smart fit. 
And then down here under the audio, I'm going to make sure that Dolby Digital is selected. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here to click on Burn in 2D. And then I need to make sure that I select the correct drive. It's already preset for me. And I'm going to make sure that Burn to Disk is selected. And then I'm going to click on Start Burning. Your menuless DVD is now a thing of reality. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.